Hi guys, it's Tara Reed. You're watching Joe and Marie all day, all night. YouTube family. How are you doing guys? Hi. This is a video of building a 4K box set. Uh, Tim Toksaki's dropped a challenge video of building a 4K box set out of movies that you like in your collection you know that would make a good 4k box set when i first saw the video i was just like you know a couple came into my head and then after thinking about it for a day i had like seven different ones that i wanted to do and he mentioned it to me and he's like why don't you do it why don't you do it so i decided to uh make a customized box set like you can make your own personal pan size pizza yeah you make your own personal so, box set. I picked one, Marie picked one, and right now we're just going to show you the ones that we decided for our box sets, what we like. Mm -hmm. So Marie's going to go first because I'm nice and I want to have ladies go first and then I'll do mine mm -hmm. after. They're guessing in the comments right now. Yeah. But anyway, I was thinking that it would be nice to have our top 10 movies on a Hallmark Blu-ray box set. 10 movies. But we ain't doing that. We're, we're not doing that. And no Bambi. So get no. that out of your head. This is something I thought would be pretty neat that I really like and am interested in. But I decided to go with all dog movies. Anything pertaining to dogs or a dog story. Yeah. Uh, not animated. Because that would be a whole separate one. Mm -hmm. Because we could go into the animated talking dog. Yeah, we want... <laughs> but she, I don't want to go there. She wants to do something that the dog is one of the main characters in the movie. Mm -hmm. And nine times out of ten, it's gonna jerk your heart so without further ado the first movie that i love is a dog's purpose and this is on dvd but it would be nice to have all of these five movies in my own little personalized 4k box set mm -hmm. that's a great movie about a dog's life and it's been a while since i watched it but it's narrated and boy does it get your heart uh just watch it yeah it's a good one this next one, I, I mean... I love this film. Say no more. This is The Art of Racing in the Rain. And it's about a man and his bond with this dog. And he's a racer. Mm -hmm. And within the first 30 seconds, I had a tear. Yeah. And I wasn't even, like, attached to the, like, characters or anything. But the story of the dog's life is just wonderful. Mm -hmm. Watch it if you haven't seen it. This next one is a little different. This is a marine story. Yep. And this one is based on a true story. I love this one. And it's Megan Levy. By May the way. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is also on Blu ray. But again, I would love to have these in a personalized box set for me on 4K. Yeah. And this is about a marine or service dog and the bond it has with Megan. And. From like as a puppy, as it grows, what yeah. happens, and how this dog cares for her, and how they did I spit? Sorry, and how they care for each other. Mm -hmm. But uh, loved it. Yeah, loved it. These are all like four point five stars for me. Mm -hmm. This next one is so cute. I have this in the snapper, but it is my dog Skip. And it, this is a story about a boy and his dream of having a dog. Mm -hmm. And he, spoiler, not spoiler, he gets a dog named Skip. And the journey that he has with this dog and the dog's life in him. Yep. I'm going to start crying right now. As I was pulling these movies, I was like, oh my God, I love these movies. But these are my top five. And the last one is also a true story. This is a true story. And it is called The Stray on Blu-ray with the slip. But I absolutely love this movie. This is all about a family. And they go out in the wilderness and they take the dog with him. And lots of heartbreaking things happen. I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> and the dog is there. And I just love this movie. The Stray proves that you can begin again. And... It is just wonderful. I love this movie. And it's not like so Jesus-y, but it looks Jesus-y, if you will. But Jesus. 
I love the movie The Stray. Yeah, but that is Marie's <laughs> box set right there. I'll hold them up for her because I got longer arms. But that's her forte box set for her movies. I decided not to do an animated one. Yeah. <laughs> Next will be Mayan. I decided when I was going to do Mayan. Oh, hold up. <laughs> Rewind. Honorable mention would be White Fang. Yeah, that we thought we had in our collection. But guess what? We don't. We don't have it. I know. Anyway. Shocking. So, I have to go on the old Amazon and order that. But, when I decided to do my end, the first one that came into my head that I wanted to do, and it's the one that I ended up doing, is inspirational sports movies. I am a huge <laughs> I was huge waiting for fan. the word Jesus. No Inspirational Jesus. G. No. Sports movies. I love sports movies. I have a ton of sports movies. All different sports. I just love them. I eat those things up. If I see any kind of sports movie, I buy them. But I'm going to start off with the ones that I really, really enjoy. First one is one that you'll never see happen to come on 4K. But I still love this film. And it is uh, Shia LaBeouf is in this film. And it's a Walt Disney film of... The greatest game that ever played. I love this movie. It's, you know, pretty much about a boy, Shia LaBeouf, that is a caddy poor from a poor family and ends up playing with these pros in a pro tournament. And just a story that ensues. It is a great, heartfelt story. I really, really enjoy this film. I It's just so, so good. I watched some of it. It's good. Yeah. The next one... Again, similar story, but this is a movie that I really, really like. I actually like the first one and the second one, but I'm just going to use the first one for the box set, and that is Goal. This one is a super underrated film. I don't hear anybody ever talk about this film. This film is based on um, the character that he's from South America, you know, just lives in a, again, poor family. A guy finds him. Pretty much brings him over to the UK and he tries out for Manchester United to play soccer as a professional. And again, just the story of this film. I love this film. This this film's like Rudy to me. When that I watch artwork it artwork is moving. Yeah. When I when I watch this film, it's like Rudy to me. That I, I actually pretty much all these movies I tear up at. But I always love, love that film. I just recently rewatched those films. Probably like two months ago. The first one and the second one. And still to me hold up. I love these. This next one is a film that I've loved since I was a kid. I've watched it three times. And I love this film. And hoping one day it gets. I know it has a, a Blu-ray MOD. But I'm just mm -hmm. hoping it gets an actual like press disc. But I don't think it will ever happen. In the time that I've met him. So in like five years or so. A little more. I've, I've watched it three times. Yeah. And I've seen this movie double digits. i never seen it before I met him. And I love this film. And it's Vision Quest with Matthew Modine and Linda Florentino. I love this film. It's pretty much about Matthew Modine. That's uh, a wrestler. Like, you know, not the wrestling like WWF, but like actual wrestling. And, you know, he wants to get better as a wrestler. He's trying to lose, you know... Uh, 20 pounds to get down to a different bracket to pretty much wrestle like the best wrestler that there is and everything that he tries to do because he wants to become the best and just pretty much them too also there's a side story of a love story that happened and it's a really really great film I really really love this it's movie it's a great process to yeah. watch him go through the next one again it's a movie that nobody talks about but I love this film another Warner Archive and I've always enjoyed this film. I used to watch this since I was a kid. Again, double digits. And this is American Anthem with Mitch Gaylord. That's on the cover. And this is pretty much a gymnastics film. And Mitch Gaylord is a male gymnast that does the single pole, like, you know, aerials. And um, I forgot what they actually call that, the single bar for you know gymnastics if you know comment down below but he tries to do this incredible like 
it's like a Russian, you know, kind of flip and everything. And he gets, the first time he did it, he got hurt. Fast flips. Yeah, I forgot what it's actually called. The actual Russian term for that flip that he tries to do. Yeah, and his dad is really hard on him. He has a, a bad family life. And he just tries to get back to where he was. He meets a girl that's a gymnast as well. And just the story of this, it's a very, like I said, inspirational film of him trying to get back to where he was and with his family life and a new girl that he meets. I really, really, really enjoy that film. The last one oh. I wanted, it was, this film was the reason why I decided to do this box set because I love this film. It's old school. A lot of people talk about this film. It is really out of print on Blu-ray. Is that why you have like a library copy? Yeah, <laughs> out of print on DVD. And I literally have a rental VHS of it. It's the only way I have it in my collection. But I love this film. It's semi-sports, but it's kind of sports. And it is Lucas on VHS. But I love this movie with Corey Haim and... Uh, Charlie Sheen, pretty much about this young kind of nerdy kid that pretty much falls for this girl and she likes Charlie Sheen that's pretty much the captain of the football team. He decides that he wants to go out for the football team to try to win that girl's love and you know just the story that ensues. I think it's a fantastic film. It has Winona Ryder in it as well and oh, yeah. I... This movie tears me up. It just, I love this movie so much. It's but, a nice film about yeah. a uh, boy. Uh, oh, I was going to say. It's a nice film about a lad that's into sports. Yeah, but I really, really enjoy this film. But that is all the ones that I picked for my box set right there. But I love all of these films. If I, the, the film that I was going to pick for a six film, but I Again, I thought I owned it, and I searched twice through my collection trying to find it. We have one thing, <laughs> too, as <Yeah>. well. <laughs> and it was the greatest game ever played. That was going to be my sixth film, as if one of these couldn't make a box set. The greatest game ever played with Kevin Costner. I love that film. I thought I had it in my collection, and I do not. So, again, with White Fang, the greatest game ever played. I mean, not the greatest game ever played. For the love of the game, I have to go on Amazon and buy both of them ASAP. But that is our two box sets mm -hmm. for... Uh, Catered to us. Yeah. And I also think that more people would enjoy uh, movies about dogs instead of Hallmark Christmas movies or animated talking dogs. Yeah. Because more people have animals. But again, uh, thanks Tim for doing this challenge. I... And Marie both really, really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And like I said, you know, check Tim Toksaki's channel. I'll leave links in the description down below for his channel. Check him out. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, he's a great guy. Does great videos. And once in a while, he does great challenges that are really, really enjoyable. I could so, resist this one. Thanks again, Tim. Yep. So thanks a lot. You know, I'm not going to leave any likes to this and that, all that other stuff, but the only thing I will say is in the description down below will be mm -hmm. all of Tim's information. Check him out. Give him follows, likes, subs, all that good stuff. But until next time. Bye. Bye.